a very nice beginning. We start off shortly at 11 30. I'm very amazed with this the way things are going on from morning. Yeah? And we have a good number of 120 plus students. I wanted to see the number down. 491, 492 participants are here, sir. Oh, so nice, so nice. Yeah? Good morning to all delegates. It's a very pleasant opportunity for me. So I've been invited to share my views on the topic of the day. I was able to get in at uh, 9 a.m. itself to, for this meeting, and I was trying to have a view of what was transpiring by the first two. The speaker who spoke about statement and synopsis, as well as the keynote address for our vice chancellor. Dr. Sobhas would have mentioned VC's address at the keynote address. He, in fact, did the whole thing. <laughs> Chapter wise planning and the patent writing. Very, very eminent way of uh, describing with his rich experience. So, having done that part of it, I think my job is now quite different in really focusing on the title of the topic, which says planning the chapters for your PhD thesis. Since we are not able to have a one to one contract, I am not able to gauge the profile of people the number of people in what stages of research they are. So I just take it as a total, okay? I, I, I just take it as a total, okay? And uh, we'll go off with the planning first. We have been very frequently using the word plan and planning. I doubt any day passes off without the mention of the word. What is plan and what is planning? One thing I would love is, I've asked uh, Dr. Sob also frequently, I like to see the people. Can all few people at least come on in video? I hope there is no restriction, Soba. People can jump in video. Ah, that's good, that's good. That's good, yeah, yeah, that's very nice. You know, something like seeing cleaving. We can talk to each other, okay? I was thinking it was a hybrid board. And then it was a fully online mode to enhance the participation. That's very nice. Yeah? Yes. Very good. Now, I get a feeling of this plan and planning. Can anybody help me in? Is there any difference at all in these two words? Plan and planning? We'll make it interactive. Because, uh, yeah, that, that would be more better because we have had a lot of inputs in the first two sessions. Dr. Velraj and the CLRA scientists. Very nicely they have said, they are structured. So let us make this as more meaningful, interactive, interactive I mean. Can somebody help me by telling me the difference between these two words? What do you mean by plan and what do you mean by planning? Are they same or are they different? If video photos are coming, name is not coming. Yeah? Anybody? Can you please help me? By letting me know the difference between the plan and planning, the title of the day. We'll have to be clear with the title. Yes? Sorry? Yeah. Yeah. Can you need to interact with them. Yeah. I need to unmute them. Please do it. Please do it. After the effectiveness of the session, you know what the page before we get our lab. I believe they have given, not giving us the option. I have invited them to put you all on uh, speaking mode so that we can really interact with each other. And they'll do it in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, participants can now uh, give their views and answers. Yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Very good morning, sir. Yeah, no participant can be planned. Yes, sir. Sir, plan is a strategy. Yes, sir. Plan is a strategy. 
Yes, planning is current strategy. Sorry? Plan is uh, future strategy. For us, the planning is current love, strategy. Love, love that, please. Plan is? Future strategy. Plan is a strategy. Future strategy. Okay, planning? planning is current strategy. Current strategy. That is yes, a catch. What do you mean by yes. strategy? Starting, uh, I mean, the sequential arrangement. Sequential arrangement is strategy. Yes, sir. And current strategy is? Current strategy, that is uh, your planning. Then planning, future strategy. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. One scholar has come out with her view. What about others? Any difference of opinion or are you concurring with her? is definitely a very vital point. As researchers, we got to be very clear. What is uh, this whole program about? What is this PhD degree? What is research program? Research program makes us the authority in learning. It's a philosophy. We are thorough. And it gives you a confirmation that you can do any analysis, any subject, philosophically. So conceptually, we got to be very clear with every terminology. And vocabulary is very, very important. Hello, sir. Can I get one more view? She has found a Hello, sir. strategy that also needs to be clarified. Hello, sir. Yeah. Yeah, please. Hello, sir. Yeah. Good morning. Please tell me. Sir, plan is an overall uh, strategy. That is an idea. Okay. What you are going to do is a plan. Okay. And planning is nothing but how we are uh, subsectioned. Uh, that is detailed view of your plan. <laughs> no, madam. Then what is implementing? Uh, what? Uh, that subsection. Huh. How we are going to implement and what are the strategies we are going to use for no, implementation? No, what is, the, then, what is the difference between implementing and planning? Yeah, so planning is, planning uh, is, is an outline. Outline. How we are going to do the work, which is an outline of our work, that, is planning. That is, okay, oh, that is plan. You said. Yes. Uh, then both are same. You are saying. Please think over. Yes, please write down in your paper. What do you are expressing to me? What is plan and what is planning? And then you'll be able to appreciate. What is your meaning? I get, do I have a board? Morning, sir. Yeah, no, no, please, if all of you all have pen and paper, please write down. What do you mean by plan? One or two sentences. What do you mean by planning? One or two sentences. And you see whether there is any difference. I think all of you all agree that there is a difference. Yes. There is a difference. Wonderful. That's yes. I'm very happy. The voting is more on. There is a difference. Good. Now let us try to appreciate what is the difference. All of you as research scholars have gone through a lot of processes. What do you mean by process? What is the simple definition of a process? Doing something. Sorry? Working, working out. Doing some work. Adhita, working Adhita, out. My dear scholars, conceptually be clear with the meaning of each and every word. Process is something. Doing work under the illa. Process Get is our something. objective. Continuous of getting our objective, process reaching our objective, sir. All are me, all are me programming. Purchasing it. All are me flow chart to put it. All are me narayya flows put it. What is the process? Process is the box, Continuous. black box. Process will have input and output. We got to know what is the input. We got to know what is the output. And in the black box, what is the operation? What is the sequential steps? What is the procedure? And then we got to appreciate, we got to understand, we got to visualize. It is a process. A process plan. which is has an input. Plan, plan is the documentation of planning. You are coming nearer plan. to me. Plan is, Very good. Yes, you are sir. Coming plan is the me. documentation of planning. Plan is the output of the process. Planning is the sequential steps happening, happening inside the black box. And the input varies for what you are planning. 
Planning is a process. Planning is a verb. Plan is a noun. You get that noun out of the process, out of the activity, out of the sequential steps. It depends on what you are drawing the plan. It could vary. Number of steps can vary. So some it can be two, three steps. Some it can go to seven, eight. Some it can go to 20 steps. That's the immaterial for which you are planning. What I want to drive home is, I want you to understand the process. What is step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. For each step, what is the input? And you get the desired output. That is the plan. This entire gamut is the planning process. Noun and the verb. And what we as quality propagators preach is, let us all improve our quality of life. Let us all become like how the well-developed countries are enjoying life. How to be satisfied. How to be happy. How to jump out of bed every morning. Hey, I have another 24 hours. I'm going to do all this. Think how every day is going to be like Friday morning. Not only Monday, Monday morning should not be strenuous. Oh, one more week. No, every morning should be like Friday morning or Saturday morning or Sunday morning. Weekend is there. Weekday, weekend day is there. How to make it? We got to be clear with this planning of activities involved in this process. We are planning, planning for what? What is the process of planning? What is the time required for planning? What is the resource required for planning? What is the information required for planning? What is the time to be invested? And then get the plan. Once we get this plan, ours is to do a line. Sorry? 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 Once we get the plan out of this process, ours is to do or die and not to ask the question why. Contrary to this, what is happening is we enjoy planning 365 days. And we mess up in implementing, enjoy iterations. Correct, three people, three people, three people. We got to go by. Can you mention some management gurus? Any people doing management PhDs here? Or leave it. Why management gurus? Any philosophical teachings? Any gurus? Can you mention whose footpaths we have to follow, whose vision we have to follow, whose advice we have to follow? A lot of people have contributed to a lot of thoughts, a lot of mindset. Can you all mention some gurus? Audience. Number gurus name name Okay. All of you all have heard of Thiruvalluvar? what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of that? Please give importance for planning. Do the planning and do only what is planned. But we enjoy doing unplanned things like somebody said, planning. So get on to this my dear uh, scholars, that please appreciate the process. Plan in a Gantt chart, Gantt chart na activity and time schedule, activity in a sequential of words, time schedule. In the time, le, idha nadako, idha time le, nadako, da, is a Gantt chart. Please prepare a Gantt chart for everything and please try to stick to the plan. I am just reminded of a Iron Smith contribution on time management. I don't know how many of you all have read. He has propagated three golden hours of every individual on using the time. Three golden hours. The first three golden hours of everybody. It could be five to eight. It could be six to nine. It could be four to seven. 
for people who are going on ship coming in the noon it will be 12 to 3 that is immaterial but every human being first 3 hours are their golden hours they got to take a stock of what are they doing in the first 3 hours what are the activities they are doing exercise reading praying nature call family time breakfast time whatever 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 it varies it varies they got to take a stock write down serial number i first 3 hours la i am doing so many activities okay second thing is this many activities will take so much of time 180 minutes and a pack panitana 180 minutes x number of activities taking so much of duration should be in our table of every individual the way you enjoy this 3 hours monotonously with a lot of joy lot of thrill lot of excitement the balance 21 hours is at your disposal you can control them very nicely <coughs> you can control them very nicely in such thing one fellow had had it as morning 7 to 7 15 is the planning time planning for the day which also includes reviewing what happened yesterday okay <laughs> planning for the day he comes across the newspaper newspaper reading also he comes across an ad which he wanted to participate it was a very interesting training program he wanted to participate in the training program but he is a globe trotter he runs around the globe and the fellow who is conducting the program also runs around the globe so very tight schedule so he calls up that man to find out he cannot attend the program the call is on january the program is on june but he can attend it but he he wants to attend it in the next opportunity that is his desire so he pulls him up on phone on that time and at the outset he congratulates him for coming out with an ad how many ads have we seen of our interest and have we called and straight away congratulated the person for publishing it we have never thought of the cost of his publishing we have only thought oh, what is my greed what is my comfort and only pushed it to them but see how that fellow has handled he has kept a big log of ice on his head and then told him what it is and then said well my programs are tied up i cannot attend this program but i am sure you will repeat it please tell me when and where because both are globe trotters both will don't know where they are that fellow was very happy to get his call but unfortunately being a new topic being the first program he was not able to commit so he was trying to say uh, can i come back to you later but this fellow is very conscious of his time he wants to block it now itself so he said no no i am very sure that uh, you will repeat it uh, uh, can you please tell me uh, when will you plan the fellow when somebody is talking like this he didn't want to let disappoint them and he was thinking this fellow again tossed him saying that okay this program you announce in january to do it in june so maybe if you are thinking uh, sometime after later based on some registration maybe in april may you may take a decision he said yes maybe in april i will decide based on registration then he said when can i talk to you in april he is not leaving him he wants to get from him what date what time he will call him because he doesn't want to spend his time searching for him or calling him or disturbing him that fellow was getting really nervous and he was pulling his tie and he was saying okay uh, well april second week or oh, second saturday okay fine the same time today also is saturday morning 7 o'clock is suitable for me can i disturb you at that time he said yes you are most welcome and then the call was over he wished him all the best and they just finished the call mind you 3 4 months have rolled away and that same april came same april came april 13 second saturday he pulled him up at the same time and then told him i am very sure you got good thing you have planned about the next when and where shall we have mind you my dear scholars that fellow has got decent registration but he has not decided when but respecting this man his sincerity his follow up is on the phone he committed to him because of you i am announcing this program 
in this country, in this place, in this time. For you, there is no registration. You come 15 minutes before, prior to the meeting, conference, and then you register, and then we will meet. That time you can make whatever payment is there. That is what they mean as commitment and promise, the way he has closed the call. Now, what I wanted to ask you all is, how do you think this fellow, after three months, same time, give the same phone call, and then got this done? How, how he has done it? Can you all please tell me? Are the scholars with me? Please tell me. Yes, sir. They are all yes, listening. Sir. Yes, sir. You're audible, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me what made this fellow make the phone call after three months in the same time to that person and got this fixed. How did it happen? Take a note in his diary. Okay, very good. Follow up regularly. Very good. Very good. So he has known what is the value of diary. Diaries are sold for every day, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, one hour scheduling. And he is using the diary. And on the morning, when he has 15 minutes for his review time, he has noted down that phone number also, not to search the phone number after three months. So he has a habit of spending his first three golden hours. He has spent it very wisely. And he has uh, done it. So that is what we are telling. Have the practice of maintaining the diary, following it up. Every day, spend that review time. It is all highly value adding for hours to use our time wisely. Because today, time is the costliest resource. Gone all the days. Grandfather, property, land, a building, assets and all that. Today, nothing. Whoever has ample time is the richest person today. I'm sure all of you will agree. So for that, we need to get into this mode of operation, stick to that and adhere to that. Is this small example clear on time management? Clear? Hello? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. So, so it's good to follow all this. When for time, morning, few minutes, few hours, when we are planning like this, for a research program, what is the planning process? How long will it take? Two months, three months. In your whole three-year period, the minimum time given for external registration, you've got to know how much time you're spending on planning. Complete holistically. If somebody has read about uh, Deming, the father of quality, he has suggested a wheel, PDCA wheel. Plan, do, check, act. Is it visible to them? Is it visible to them? Are you the bone is too away from your camera? PDCA cycle. I have I have drawn PDCA cycle. Plan, do, check, and act. Is it clear to everybody? It's not clear, sir. It is not visible. You draw a circle in your notebook. Draw a circle. Break the circle into four parts. Well, please, I, sir, please, not visible, not visible, sir. Please. Please. Adjust the Don't camera, sir. Adjust the camera, sir, please. Sorry, okay, sir. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, plan, do, check, act. Please. Not here, sir. Sorry? Voice is also not clear. Not audible. It's very simple. Right? Let us not believe all these gadgets. You have a piece of paper. Draw a circle. Break the circle into four parts, four quadrants. And put in each quadrant PDCA. 
plan do check and act plan do check and act this is what uh, dr edward deming has uh, propagated any of our activity should follow this cycle we are not to do anything unplanned make a plan do what you have planned and then when you have progress make a review of are you aligning with plan you may come across some mid course corrections do the corrections and then complete it now what dr edward deming said is for you to have rotated one cycle for you you to have rotated one cycle this is time and this is uh, activity for you to rotate one cycle time would have varied think of some activity for you to complete that activity time would have varied and the very important step in planning is planning premises the first one planning premises premises means and what platform on what constraints on what limitations on what what are the problems now that problem what you thought now might have got changed over the period of time so that is why he says rotate the cycle again after completing the activity plan again first plan might take more time second plan will take very little time because you will do very minor corrections he says continuous improvement keep on changing which goes on i love to have done it with the whiteboard for you to put this graph and show the simple philosophy is don't do anything unplanned no 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 if we write to some urban project the fellows our project idea he will want three or four months time just to whether he is prepared yes or no he will take three or four months time and then it's like a very big project you have to give like a world bank project for him to understand and then he will say shall we work together that is how they scheduled that time okay so i am basically trying to drive home the point of what do you mean by planning very very simple if all of you all have a paper and pencil please draw a square please draw a square i don't want to put it on board because it's not becoming visible please draw a square and the left hand side are urgent and the right hand side you can put as importance please draw a square break it into four quadrants break it into four quadrants and on one side of the graph you put it as urgent and the other side you put it as importance have you all understood what i'm saying have anybody tried you can also show in your camera whether somebody has done it correctly can you put a square in the paper just a plain square empty square are you done priya lakshmi priya have you drawn the square just an empty square Who's trying to make a small square and show it? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Is it clear? Yeah. You are running into square. Correct. Correct. Very good. Very good. You have put four quadrants. Good. Priya has shown it correctly. Yeah. Sorry. 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 See, on one side you put urgent, on the other side you put important. The four quadrants. I'll tell you what is it inside. On the outside, vertical is important, horizontal down is urgency. Just write it down like that. Outside the square, outside the square, vertical is important, horizontal is urgency. Vertical is important, horizontal is urgency. Okay, now. inside that four you will find you put it like this low high low high on both the sides left hand side low high 
right hand side low high so the four squares you will have it as two low two high and the other one you will have one high one low the other one you will have one high one low i think priya has got it right you can show it to others you can show it to others here yeah, can you show it what you have drawn ah very good very good ah uh, important uh, no no one side is important the other side you have put both vertical vertical horizontal not left hand side right hand side on same side it's like a graph it's like a graph vertical line you put urgency horizontal you put important just on two two sides there. All right, I think the board is a clear other channel. Urgent, important. So low, high, high. Low, high, high, low. This side is urgent. This side is important. This is urgent. This is important. This one is both low. This one is both high. Here, one is high, one is low. Here, one is high, one is low. Have all of you got the four, all the quadrants? All the four quadrants? Have you got Priya? Yes, sir. Every morning, every Monday morning, every month beginning, every year beginning, start up time. In which quadrant you like to lay yourself? Your activity. Which quadrant you like to go and sit down? Out of this four. i want it like a vote let us see how people prefer four options are there urgent important you have to start off your day start off your week start off your month start off your year by laying yourself in one of these four quadrants which quadrant you love to sit down to begin your day begin your office 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 8:30 whatever it is which one you feel will make you very comfortable third quadrant sorry Third quadrant. So your third may vary with others. Tell me this high low. Which is high? Which is low? Urgent and important. High high. High high. First quadrant high high. High energy. You want to lay. You want to lay yourself in that point. Urgent and important. Urgent is high, important is high. Like majority, you know the majority. Okay, others. High, high, sir. Urgent is high, important is high, sir. You want both high. Yeah. Want... Okay, two people have come out. Two people are saying both high. Okay, I'll now give you. High, 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 sir. Uh... Yes. Sorry? I I I also uh, I I also want to go with that. It is high high. Okay. All three of you all wanted to go on high high. Okay. I will now give you the examples of the four, and then you rethink and tell me what you want to be. Okay. Now, both high high means it is emergency. Yes, sir. Firefighting. It is accident. it is icu i have to get started i have to perform the work i have no time i have no thinking time i have no analysis time i have to show the result those types of examples only will come and that every morning do you wanted to get into that both low me i this need all routine to be Both low. I did a sample of both low and both high. 
Sir, you have muted. Not audible. Sir, please unmute. Sir, voice is not audible. Voice is not audible, sir. Please unmute. Kindly unmute yourself. Sir, kindly unmute yourself. Urgency is high, importance is low. Means occupational hazard. Situation warrants. I am not to be a part of that, but I am enforced as a member for the meeting because of my position. Organization, it is urgent. Not for my nature of work, not for me personally. So it is high in urgency, but importance low. Okay, that those are the examples in that. I'm suddenly pulled up, though it was not my planned one. But I have to attend that I can't escape. And importance is high, urgency is low means that is my core competency. It's very important for me, but it's not that urgent. So I can invest more time. I can have more discussion. I can have more analysis. I can have more references. That is that examples of that quadrant. I've given you examples of four quadrants. I hope all of you have got the examples. Are you having any doubt in any quadrant? Can you please repeat, sir? Because you have muted for okay. some time. I'll tell you, both low means rudimentary things, routine things, bed coffee, brushing the teeth, wishing everybody good morning, signing the admin's register. These are all not worth it things to say that I have done something, I have achieved something. So, but these all you cannot escape, you got to do it. So, you must know how to invest your time on those. Both high means it's emergency, urgency, firefighting, accident. No time to think and analyze, but to perform. We don't want that. We don't want to enter into ICU every day, every morning. Other one is urgency is high. Importance is low means it's because of your position. It's, it is occupational hazard. Because of your position, you got to do certain things because the situation warrants, organization warrants, and you can't escape from that. You got to contribute. The last one, urgency is less, importance is high. Are your core competency. You got to do your best in that. You have a lot of time. You can do more analysis, so more references, more discussion, and do it very nicely because it is yours. It's important. These are the four examples of the four quadrant. Have you all got it? Now, now tell me which quadrant you like to start off every time. Third quadrant, sir. Thank you. Sorry? Third quadrant. Uh, urgency is... Uh, High importance uh, and low urgency. Yes, sir. I know. Ah, urgency is low and importance is high. Important is correct, correct. And we take effort not to go to both high. We work in a way that we'll never enter into that zone. That zone, if you're entering now, it's because of some of the failures, some of that unplanned. Unplanned, that is what we mean. And that zone which urgency is high, importance is low, you got to know to play like Sachin Tendulkar. Virat Kohli, Dhoni, which ball to hit in which direction, which ball to place it on the pitch, which ball to loft it to a six, which ball to push it to the gully, you got to be a good cricketer. You can't avoid the ball, but you got to handle the ball based on the flow of the ball. Correct? These are all some of the examples only to, I am still sticking on the topic of planning, to emphasize on importance of planning. Why plan? And getting into the adherence of working in only planned mode. Okay? Okay? You have heard of mission statements, mission statements. That's what is coming in your research. For you to know what is your objective, what is the theme. It is generally in three parts. The chapters are generally in three parts. I don't know, all of you would have gone through online university website, the manual they have given you very nicely. Introductory part, very nicely. You had an excellent lecture by Professor Mailrad, our vice chancellor, earlier in the morning. Chapter wise, he is given. 
every chapter he has dealt very clearly introductory part main theme research discussion and conclusion these are the three general parts and then it goes to sub chapter eight, five chapters and each five chapters going on like that so main theme you got to hit up on your theme you got to be clear with your objective there are creative there are academic you got to be clear what is creative what is academic creative entering into see you got, there is a, a lotus in the pond okay expression of your feeling also oh god what an amazing lotus in the pond it is one way of expressing there is a lotus in the pond this is one way of expressing this is objective it's just giving you the truth fact academic that one is sort of creative okay you got to be clear you classify types of researches there are so many types of researches you got to be clear with what type of research you are going to do all these will form the part of the planning we got to choose you also got to do a swot analysis within you somebody can help me what is swot analysis swot strength weakness very good very good opportunity threat threat okay idella rendu external rendu external rendu external what are the internal what are the external strength and weakness weakness or internal uh, internal okay strength weakness opportunities and threat very good okay now we got to take a stock of these four and write down mine will vary yours will vary dr shobhas will vary everybody's will vary individually we got to see when you are choosing the theme of research title of the research you got to write down which one you are going to be passionate about that is more important you got to enjoy what you are doing you got to enjoy so you got to deliberate you got to write down what is my strength what is my weakness where i am having access to what type of information what are my resources what are the varieties of research which one shall i choose which one should i love that is very very important and idellame planning stage la build pannita once we have decided you will be progressing otherwise two three months have gone down the drain you are still hitting on this that is the topic given to me not this chapter wise page wise whatever you are going to write okay so please try to understand now that you have said so clearly please write down what is your strength what is your weakness try to overcome the weakness not to give up your strength opportunity threat is like what i told you in the planning premises la innik irukra opportunity threat vera moonu maasa aaru maasathuk irukka appra irukra opportunity threat vera we don't know where we are we don't know what changes will happen external what are the rules and regulations adella vara vara we have to face it we have to face it we have to accept we have to adapt the way the world is moving is we are sitting on a cycle without stand what will happen if we are sitting on a cycle without stand can you be static on a cycle without stand come on scholars no it's hats Suddenly you will fall down, sir. Then orange they will fall. Suddenly, what is na? Sand lava, what kind of static are na? Suddenly, la what is na? Fall down, sir. So, he ah, have to pay. That immediately so, fall down. down. Ah, very good, very so, good. So yeah, they have to pedal. Ah, pedal na? You got to be progressive. You got to be moving forward. You got to be dynamic. You got to accept change. You got to adapt to change. you will keep progressing that is the only way for survival you have no choice if you fall down somebody will run over you that is the order in which things are going that is why we are saying approach everything in a structured way give the planning time planning time all the for developed countries la they don't touch anything unplanned they on a daily basis worker has his hourly plan operators have the shift wise plan they have somebody else have daily weekly monthly adhe mari number of scholars 
you got to be clear with your plan for research work three years the full away therinjikino innike therinjikino and other with the adhere panna paakano appo dhan the result will be there okay va that is why you got to be clear with what is your objective of research literature survey professor velraj amogama sonnaru can somebody summarize what did he say on literature survey professor velraj literature survey la ye review la romba nalla sonnaru avaru yaradu abbe bullet points la solluveengla summary mari enna sonnaru nu edhuk literature survey pandringa identify the literature gap are what is literature gap the first one we have to do is classify the research article second one broad aspect classify the research article into what broad aspect uh, like theoretical or experimental specific classification such as experimental and analytical sub classification should be there sub classification can be done here wise and here you know, wise continuity should be there relevant articles should be given what first what is the and... outcome of literature survey specific objectives what is objective like what we are proposed to do sorry based based on the research gap we identify of the literature survey what is research uh, gap what is research gap the objective sorry what is research gap research gap is uh, while we undergone the literature surveys where uh, the uh, research work has not been done so ah. we have the opportunity to uh do research in that uh, particular uh, topic very good very good others have already said there is a scope for all this we got to pick up that and align it with your swot analysis yes i am passionate in this this fellow has said this is there is a possibility ide mari in dozens you have to accumulate not one or two worldwide published information this country this place in this place in the applicability la adhe mari adha vandu you got to substantiate with information data with pakka references see what we got to understand is what is my caliber is not important what is my caliber is important what am i going to deliver steve jobs sonare customers are looking for not what hard work you are doing not what you are contributing they wanted to know what they will get adhe mari in research la one side is your capability your the other side la who are you going to cater to who are your audience you got to be clear which type of organizations you are going to get into academic scientific research or some uh, publishing place or companies who are the audience who are going to enrich your three years of hard work who are going to use it also you got to be clear because your writings are going to be for them you got to be clear your writings are going to be for them writing so no more i am worried about the vocabulary how powerful the vocabulary has to be all the scholars i really submit to you all please run parallelly on improving your english please run parallelly on improving your english two years or three years full time scholars two years part time external three years it's a luxury time to improve your english very very important very very important using the word only in a sentence where is imp- uh, makes a difference you know for example i can say 850 was registered yesterday and today about 100 150 170 people are there actively participating in this i can say it as only 125 people have come which means i expected more and only 125 people have come i am disappointed is a way of i am expressing if i put the word only before and dr shobha can say today the hall was with 25 people only she can put later the hall was full with 125 people only her way is it's okay i got 125 people so same thing set like this set like that here is taken as negative there is taken as positive 
the bottle of water is half filled. Is one way of expressing. You gave me half a bottle of water. Is one way of saying. I'm only tossing the word this side and that side between positive and negative. So as you write your research, you got to be clear with what are you trying to express. What are you trying to express? Yeah. So try to improve upon your English. For that also, there is a methodological way. Everything is a process. You got to appreciate the process and go through the process. There is nothing without a process. Why do we all try to go and put the children on a very good school? All admissions, they everybody wanted. I wanted CBSC. I wanted this uh, reputed day. I wanted this. Why do we look for that to place the children, whether it's school education or college education, whatever it is? Why? Why are they searching for that? Established, proven. To get more knowledge. Common scholar. To get more knowledge. That is there everywhere. Why particular A school, B school, C school? Every school. For the, for for the the spoken, spoken, spoken and vocabulary. International level. Are? For the vocabulary, so they compete international level. We are, looking for, we are looking for an institution which has a good process. Because if the input child goes with that, they will go through the good process and the output, the child development will be better. So everywhere we are trying to look at the process. So much so, even in our work also, we should be able to and appreciate the process, understand the process. It's all networked. We got to align. So that is why we say be very clear in literature survey. I did. Sir, why is it not audible? Take literature survey very, very seriously. If they say hundreds of papers have to be seen, hundreds of papers have to be seen. The summary has to be picked up. The constraints of all the authors will have to be known. And the has to be validated whether those constraints are valid today. That was there two years back, three years back when they wrote. But today it won't be there, which means that paper itself is doubtful. So you got to be so clear. And when you make a presentation, you have to fight it out with this published article. Facts. Proven facts. You got to be very clear with what is objective and what is subjective. What is objective? What is subjective? General objective and subjective. Sir, uh, objective is a single term. Word, but where a subjective is, we write the article, sir. In general, single term, na purila. Objective. Objective type questions. We are talking about objective type questions. They are having single word answers. Yes, sir. You are asking me a question. I say this one is the correct answer. Adi vera, adi vera, adi vera, adi correct objective type questions are vera. But real meaning of objective, subjective, you got to appreciate. Subjective is objective is in short, but subjective is in detail. Objective is in short. What is the target of that paper? Objective is objective is truth, facts, evidence, or proven, written. Objective is update, demonstrated. Okay, it's a result, it's a fact. Subjective is creative, personal, feelings. Emotional. I view it like this. It may not be the fact. Fact may be something different. Objective, it has to be objective. Academic, it has to be proven with records, proven with facts, proven with truths. Realistic, accepted by everybody. Subjective is intuition. One's feeling based on the situation, based on their attitude, based on their perception. For an organization, everything has to be objective. Because organization has a life. So everybody should align for that. So your research also should be made like that. We got to fix the objective. We got to say what is an objective. We got to fix that objective. How we come out of this gap. And you got to realize that objective. Objective has to be smart. S-M-A-R-T. S-M-A-R-T is a wonderful. Very true, Vice Chancellor, early Vice Chancellor. What is smart? 
S M A R T. It's abbreviation. Specific, please write down. Specific, measurable, specific, measurable, S M J achievable. Realistic and time bound. Time bound in the mother, it's a sub target, Murray. It is with clarity, Murray. So your objective should be smart. Your objective should be smart. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So you also got to understand the research problem. What is research problem? Problem nine. Something to be rectified. Is the problem to be accepted? What is the problem? Sorry? The scientific literature. The solution is to be found. Solution? For which a solution is to be found. Seeking opportunity. I'm not getting my solution. Please. Problem refers to something for which okay. a solution is to be found. A solution that, to be found. Uh, from the literatures, uh, baseline pictures, literatures. Sorry, sorry, solution, problem. Please for which again. solution is to we be found. To find the literature solution. service. Ah, you research, you got to define the problem. Research problem. How do you define the research problem? What is the problem? How do you make the problem? What is 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 the problem? research, but what needs to be done that is called as a research problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, please tell me, what is the problem? Based on our uh, interest of research field, what work needs to be done? That definition that is or that defining that thing is called as research problem. See, how do you make me believe that needs to be done? By you yes, saying yes, I have to accept sir, yeah, based to on the based on the number facts or uh, situations or scenarios where the uh, uh, the human kind or the society needs uh, that uh, issue to be addressed can be defined as a problem for the research. I don't care. Are they Pandanon Solomode? You got to have evidences for what is the desired one, what is the ideal one, what is the standard one, what is the good one, what is the best one. Are they proof? Rukuno published proof. Number one. Number two, you should have a system to measure the current actual. How is it now? Are they place there? Where a place there? You got to measure and bring. Actually, how do you present oh, in form of tabulation, in form of graph, or in form of pie chart, or whatever it is? So, you should be able to show, prove both. This is the desired as evidenced here. This is possible. This is attainable. This is being done. Allah, or statement. Actually, a statement. This is a difference. Gap, meet, and effort to put up. If it comes to that, it is not gap. In the gap, it is not problem. This way will take a lot of time to appreciate, understand, bring it, and demonstrate. That is what we got to identify. 
and define the problem. Okay. Example, sir, can I tell, sir? Sorry? Sir, can I tell? Yeah, please. So you can address the gap in your knowledge, challenge, and contradiction your field specific. That is the research problem. No, no. Whatever you said, you got to substantiate with information. Yes, sir. Publish information. You're right. Your, your knowledge now, however, you capture that. Others should accept, others should believe. Yes, sir. So they go by facts. Sir. So you got to have reports. It can be any form of published material that should have been defined there. You bring it to your area of interest and demonstrate this is the desired ideal one. This is actually this is what is happening. There are a difference between these two. I'm going to work on bridging this gap. Okay, sir. Okay. That is what you got to uh, try to bring it out. Okay. Now, objectives are all something which is, as I told you, it has to be smart. It has to be uh, contributory. It should be different. It should be wanted by the society. It should be leading to an advancement in research. So you got to set objectives. You got to write down. Each objective you write down should be fulfilled in the end of the research work. You have met the objective. This is what you have thought of. So we got to write down and explore the research in that. Okay? You got to be clear. What is the scope of research? People often try to uh, take it lightly. What is the scope of research? What do you mean by scope? Future work okay. needs to be done. What is, the future, what is the future work supposed to be done? Yeah, yeah. No, no, planning process that is the planning. Eh? Work to be done in the planning. Eh? That is the planning or output. Eh? Now, what is the scope of research? Sir, uh, Sir well, or, or, when a researcher does uh, research work, there uh, 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 for time bound or for uh, considering the period of the research work there will be uh, there will be only a certain percentage of uh, the work the researcher can uh, achieve and it is the researcher's job to uh, give a future roadmap or kind of a future uh, 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 scope of work to other researchers to uh, uh, deep dive or uh, uh, go further Madam, you are confusing between gap and uh, scope, and you are confusing with the uh, end result of uh, research and somebody else continuing. I am worried about your scope, your research, to define it and to specify. Sorry? Sir, scope Sorry. is the practical application of my research area, sir. Ah, practical yeah, application. It depends on what. Uh, a level of research you have taken, whether it's practical or impractical, scope means the boundary of your research. The extent and the limits. Ah, the extent and the limits. Okay. I am going inside within this. Other things you don't ask me. You are defending yourself. Everybody cannot be God and everybody cannot do the entire thing. So with my knowledge, with my idea, with my time schedule, with my resource, I am restricting to this. This type of material or this type of companies or this type of volume or this type of public, whatever, whatever, it depends on your research area. You are putting the boundary. Within that, you got to go threadbare, inside out, everything. Other things now, you can define, you can protect yourself saying that that's out of scope, that's not in my purview. So that is why it's better you define the scope and proceed with your research. I hope I have clarified to all what is scope. Yeah, scope is Sorry, different. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Objective is different, gap is different, scope is different. Okay? Gap is a problem. Okay? We have also thought uh, what is uh, subjective and what is objective. Okay? Now, why, uh, you got to be precise in active voice and passive voice. That is also important. You cannot come and say, I did, we did. It got to be apart from personnel. It's factual. Okay? It got to be apart from personnel. It cannot be first person. Okay? It cannot be... In, it, it has to be very clear, explanatory. Okay? There's no giving scope for interaction. 
interaction is good for a program but for a research writing it should be fact based okay and please avoid complex sentences i have seen horrible very enthusiastic very enthusiastic they write five six sentences one sentence is running to five six sentences it's, it's a paragraph you are trying to build in four or five points into a same sentence a sentence is one which ends with a full stop comma colon hyphen it runs off like that that can easily be broken into four or five sentences please try to be specific please try to be as lucid as possible as specific as possible avoid long sentences avoid vague sentences some there's something called iterations there's something called iterations every bit of pages you write should go through four or five iterations within yourself what you have done today cannot be passed off to somebody tomorrow that somebody could be anybody whoever you want you bet it two or three sittings readings you can do it every day or you can do it uh, uh, on a same day itself depending on the volume of the reading material but you do three or four iterations your thought process your thinking has to get into the white paper there should be a clarity and you should have made the white paper on what you wanted to make you should be sure of that you have done you will find lot of improvements on what you have done yesterday if you read it today you will certainly find improvement because the communication was different yesterday it was transferring what is in the mind to the paper today whether the paper is giving what i wanted to convey please go through the communication process coding decoding transmitting receiving it's a full communication process see the entire thing how nicely it has happened when you do your own self go through it two or three iterations then take it to the concerned people to read and with them also have the patience for their iterations sorry 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 ye i am not audible ke clear i think all of you are clear ट because others are getting disturbed okay so avoid this all this vague sentences explanatory emotionally don't get charged emotionally don't get charged it's more the fact than the expression when you're writing and plagiarism is a very critical one it's a very critical one 100% informations are available in google today any thesis is available it is very easy in fact uh, i have done quality management systems in very many places installing management systems in anna university itself uh, when dr balaguru swami is there i was a management representative to get iso certificate okay we find lot of people in north india carrying on a disk or a drive going to every company just changing all the names uh, on a same uh, manual quality manual we call it same manual change all the names change all this give to this company go to other company do it one company one lady with the two wheeler runs around half a dozen companies and says it's a manual you apply and you get the certificate it is not to be like that it is like this chinese way of teaching chinese way of teaching in china if we want to eat fish they will try to make you they will teach you how to catch the fish how to cook and then eat so that all through you can keep eating if they give you the ready made fish every time you depend on others so there are two different ways research also got to be like that it's us it is mine it is we should do then you become a supervisor you are able to do it otherwise 
you never become a supervisor and you never know how to go through the process. So plagiarism should be totally avoided. If it is inevitable, please give due recognition, acknowledge the author, do it, and then use it. Nobody questions. Clicking and using is a very problematic one. It has to be avoided. Okay. And uh, latex is a very wonderful thing to be used. The software, which is used for framing equations, which is used for making tables, which is used for making figures. You can rotate the figure. You can scale up the figure. You can enlarge the figure. You can set the figure. You can do many things. So use all these things for the way of you presenting. Latex is a very wonderful thing. Okay? And research, make yours as the main product, not as a byproduct. That is a very important thing I wanted to say. Your research should be the main product. Accidentally, you are getting a publication. Accidentally, you are getting a research. See, not to boast, one of my research scholars is going to come for Viva. We have submitted the panel for VC's approval, and Viva will be coming shortly maybe anytime this month or next month, you can keep an eye on the website and try to participate in that Viva. Two good reports, internal examiner and external examiner. You just read the two reports and see one of, she was one of my best scholars, got ACR of fellowship and all that. The way the reports have been written, there's no need for a Viva. That is how they have uh, written. No corrections, no rectifications to be done. And the way they have endorsed, strongly recommended, and the way they have appreciated, it, it that the feeling of uh, is what is the need for a viva. So your material has to be like that. Your material has to be like that. So it has to be fully. That is because the scholar just went through all my teachings. So all the process, whatever I try to lay down, if it is cumbersome, please go through it. There is pleasure only in hardship that will only will give the result happiness is only in that you have to go through the process you have to know the process and get through that there is process for anything and everything there isn't anything and everything we got to admire the process understand the process and patiently go through the process give the time required for that give the time required for that okay it is all possible all our good practices, you know, the Japanese people, that mindset is totally different on this quality perspective. Japanese people, whenever they scout around, you know, in another two, three weeks, uh, Navaratri, whoever believes uh, 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 Aida Puja is going to come. Why do we celebrate Aida Puja? Why do we celebrate Aida Puja? Come on, our scholars. Why do we celebrate Aida Puja? Sir, most of the scholars, we have put them on mute, sir. Sir, yeah, uh, yes, topic, please come on mute and talk. This stuff is unmute. Yes, sir. Why do we sir. celebrate Aida Puja? Uh, to get blessings from Lord Durga. Okay, Apro? So, she is the... Uh... Apro? Where do you respect to the... Work, whatever. Apro, where are you going? We have to clean tools, sir. To tank the tools. Sorry? To tank the tools. Tools, we have to tools clean, that we clean have used tools. for. Ah, ah, clean the tools. Yes, yes. Clean the tools. Worship the tools. Worship the tools. If you really maintain your vehicle so very nicely, Clean it every day. It never breaks down any time you want to drive. If you really water your plants every day, you will observe if you have flowers at home, you go near, the flowers will smile at you. It will winkle at you. You ask any botany people, they will tell you. You respect it, nourish it, you treat it, you remove the dust of the leaf. It will greet you. Same, so much so is the vehicle, so much so every system. So you give it the due respect, so that one day they wanted to give it. 
The Japanese are questioning, why are you doing it once in a year? Why not you do it every time, every hour, every day, every week, every month? Why are you religiously doing only once in a year? Why do we do bogey every year? What happens in our bogey day? Come after two, three months, January, that's not bogey. Sir, we throw our old, unnecessary old assets in fire. I don't know. Munu Tarjunal set the vechi, Adiki Adatha Kurute, Adela Dusta accumulates Pani, Apran Suki Porke. Why don't you do it then and there? This is a simple question. This is a simple question. It's very valid. Very valid. So, bogi either puja should not become a matter of routine, matter of then and there, matter of every day. It makes it so serene. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, bogi bogi for discarding the old things, sir. Okay. Bogi for discarding the old things like when are you, when are you, defining, it as, when are you defining it as old? Why are you keeping a ceremony for that? Anna, what are you old? Liya? Why are you waiting for that good day? There's some disturbance that you Liya. You're facing all the disturbance that you Ah. Yes, you wanted to say something. Now try, man. Like you, Liya. Please try. Lakshmi Priya, can you remove your headsets and just speak into the system directly? Is it possible for you? Even now it's a problem. Can you please mute? You put it in the chat box. We will read out your comment. But Shobha, I'm not able to read the comments. You have to read it for me. Uh, sure, sir. We are opening it for you. I hope Ganeshan is there. I will ask him to help you out, sir. Yeah, yeah. He's typing, huh? Yeah, so there's a comment from Dilip Kumar, sir, who says to pass the culture to the next generation and to save culture also. <laughs> this is a very big one where you got to be clear with what do you mean by culture and try to be specific one by one. It's a very generic statement. It's too big. Yes. I'm only asking, why do you have a ceremony for disposing old things? And cleanliness. Lakshmi Priya says clean the workplace every day. Correct. Correct. So she's agreeing to the view. Yes, that's what she has typed, sir. Correct. Correct. Okay. Then only there is a place for new things to come. Okay. Yeah, all this can happen then and there. That is what we are trying to submit. All this can happen then and there. Okay. Anyway, why I'm trying to tell you all this is to get into your part of your research work, chapter wise. Okay. Our guideline says three main uh, parts, uh, main, main theme, introductory main theme, results of discussion, further divided into five chapters, as very well said by Professor Bailraj. Okay. In, individually, each chapter, each subsection, everything varies. Uh, research based. Okay. The topic given to me was to talk about how to plan the chapters for which I wanted to ignite the thinking process for clarity, for consistency, and saving the time more on value adding work instead of iterated unnecessary work, which generally is faced by many scholars. They leave off 50, 60, 70 percent of the time and then they try to hush up. Like the box example I told you, getting off into both high and then not really releasing the part. So have it in stages, enjoy every day. That is why I just try to ignite the thinking process. And that is what is the fact. Hierarchy of plans is another important thing, which I wanted to clarify. Very many of your scholars, 
whichever organization you hold, every would have written a lot of statements. Okay, every everything is asking, NAC is asking, NBA is asking, ISO is asking, mission statement, vision statement. What does the mission statement mean? As scholars, you definitely got to be clear with this. What is mission statement? Every organization has mission statement. Up in another. Vision statement. Sorry. It will be a long time. Okay, the organization is working for. Sorry. Mission statement is generally the purpose of existence. Why am I here? Mission statement has to clarify the purpose of existence of the organization mission statement you must also try to have the same thing as why are you doing the research mission unga swat analysis panna sonna mari unga mission enna endradha define pannikonga why are you doing what is the purpose vision statement tells where does the organization wants to be far sighted 10 years 20 years where do they want to land themselves where do they want to go vision statement which is derived from mission statement government may say i want to eradicate poverty pharmaceutical company may say i want to uh, elevate uh, cancer i want to eradicate cancer so things like that so mission is different vision is different from this you derive the policy policy is how do i fulfill my vision what do i do governing rules governing the set up rules governing guidelines it all have a vision statement the moon of day align aite varano idha vandu na uphold pandra and prove pandra idha objective objectives are measurable if you are not able to measure you got to write qualitative and then try to convert into qualitative into quantitative how am i to make others believe that i am upholding my policy or the objective nalavadhu mission vision policy objective ellathiyum base pannida hierarchy of plans nu solradilla vande they are say you got to prepare your budget you got to prepare your working manual you got to prepare your circulars you got to prepare your standing instructions you got to prepare your do's and don'ts all this should be reflected as per this goal congruence alignment அப்படி இருக்கணும்னு சொல்றாங்க ஒரு ஆர்கனைசேஷனுக்கு சொல்ற மாதிரி ஒரு ஆர்கனைசேஷன் சொல்ற மாதிரி இதே மாதிரி தான் நம்ம தீசிஸ்ல வரணும் தேர் ஷுட் பி அ ஸ்ட்ராங் கோரிலேஷன் பிட்வீன் வாட் யூ ஆர் கிவன் இன் இன்டராக்டரி அதனால தான் திரும்பி திரும்பி சொல்றது இதெல்லாமே அங்கவே போட்டுடுங்க ஆப்ஜெக்டிவ் ஸ்கோப் ப்ராப்ளம் gap abdinga abdinga marala potu cogens a kondu vaanga kadais varaikka continuity irukano it should be like your software network how wonderfully it is done algorithm oru vaadi onnu solli aachina adutha vaadi adhu eduthukave edukadhu maathave maathukadhu adha poi correct pannittu vandha da adhe maari dhaan your research should proceed your clarity in thought your clarity in mind please plan to give every 3 months 4 months some paper presentation some conference go and attend you hold you invite everybody wanted to listen to you you go to ug students and take a class for them take deliver a lecture no guide will stop you or half an hour talk when you are prepared for that you go through two or three iterations please take it from me you go through two or three iterations you listen to third party's view it helps you in correcting yours it helps you in correcting yours please have this have this as a plan and implement it you will find the difference every 3 years or every 8 months or 9 months or one potana this is similar to what i 4 5 published panitana adha consistency iruka my dear scholars a well published article in few good reputed journals adha compilation is your phd thesis thesis writing our time agave agade if you have been consistent i agree one way she vanam nanu solla pona ne sorry sorry please 
try to go like that are you doing anything i have a plan and work to a plan i have a plan and work to a plan okay i i, I hope i have touched upon as i said in the beginning Veldraj, Professor Veldraj, we see has covered very nicely, and then we have got pay, synopsis and patent. Now here again, instead of getting into the chapter-wise business, I thought I'll give you the importance of planning because it was the main title. What are the perspectives involved? What are the type of thinking to be made? What are the viewpoints to be made? And I think I have done my role. Now let us have few minutes for real interaction. You either talk or you either give it in your chat box. I'll try to respond. Because from morning you were cascading and you were not having any breaks. I thought uh, yes, I would close off at one when Shobha wanted. Uh, sure, sir. Thank you for that very thoughtful uh, gesture of yours. Of course, the participants have not had a break since uh, we started. Uh, we will. I will look at the chat box in case there are any questions. And uh, if there are any questions, I think the participants can ask uh, the resource person. I'm really very happy with. Dr. Umar Rani, the professor, to have given me this opportunity. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I think uh, the kind of experience uh, that you have uh, seen all these years and your work with the uh, quality management, I think all that uh, deserves recognition. And we are very glad that you have also joined us, sir. No, I am not sure whether I have delivered what you wanted. Ultimately. No, sir. I think when it comes to planning, there are so many, you know, uh, aspects that you have touched upon that are required. So, Lakshmi Priya says, uh, I have learned many things in this session. So, not just about, uh, you know, uh, uh, aspects that are related to the thesis, but also you spoke about time management. You spoke about all these other aspects which are very important, sir. So, we are uh, thankful to you, sir. And I think the participants will be extremely thankful because we were able to also finish on time. So uh, we are very glad and uh, I very proudly thank uh, Professor Narsimhan for accepting our invitation and, uh, uh, you know, being part of this particular online workshop. Uh, thank you, sir. So participants, uh, sir, uh, people are asking your email ID yeah, in the chat box. K K K chat chat. Yes, Ganesh, if you are there, can you type it in the chat box? I am doing it. That's sure. Yeah, I've given my email ID and the phone number. Thank you, sir. I'd love to respond to any of your queries or chat boxes. Time management, because she mentioned just to conclude, what I meant was having a time, you do it, it was supposed to today, September. After three months, six months, you do it, you'll revise it. I have to 12 activities for three hours and see how it is changing, how you're improving. And every six months, you keep on doing you'll find the difference, you'll enjoy. And that guy, like that, when he has done the review time, he has followed the review time and automatically it has come to him. When he was writing itself, he has turned to that page and written that phone number. To that extent, he has gone into the system. That is why I'm emphasizing process, process, process. Thank you, Director, Madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the wonderful uh, lecture, sir. Wonderful, and I love Parnitan. You get so many theoretical and practical issues. We have discussed a lot of practical issues, sir. And these are the things we need. We are so good, sir. I would have enjoyed a director. No, 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 Ah, yes. Uh, dear participants, we will uh, now break for lunch.